It's so embarrassing remembering yourself in high school. Like when you're actually doing it, dragging yourself out of bed at seven o'clock every morning, planning your outfits, planning what you'll say to some boy, planning where you'll sit at lunch because some year eights have started hanging around your corner and it's actually not so cool anymore. Planning, planning, planning. <laughs> I thought it was so smart. I remember in sixth form, we used to lie awake on Sundays planning my repertoire of outfits for the week ahead. I couldn't do jeans and a t-shirt every day now. I had to go in every day with a whole different look, a whole different character. It would be Monday, an extra in a Missy Elliott video, big oversized bright green shell suit. Tuesday, Bratz store stroke share from Clueless, mini skirt and matching jacket. Wednesday, business bitch couture, some ill-fitting suit I picked up at the BHF. Thursday, Woodstock vibes, some huge jeans and a flowy top. Friday, Olympic legend raver. Some lycra and my mum's running trainers, preferably the fluorescent ones. This one boy once said I was like a backwards chameleon, always changing colours but never to blend in. I loved that. I loved the way he said it. I loved the theatricality of it all. I felt elusive and slippery and like no one knew a thing about the calf that would sit in her Primark pyjamas watching Prisoner of Azkaban for the third time that week. I wish I hadn't covered myself up so much. Well, not literally. I mean, I definitely literally wasn't covered up most of the time. <laughs> But I wish I hadn't hidden Primark pyjamas cat away. I can't remember if I was ashamed or what. I just, I just wish I'd known that Primark pyjamas cat could get along with all the other cats. Instead, I had to be always changing, always moving forward, never settling on one thing without being scared it would crumble underneath me. But I'd love thought about all these ages. Seems like a whole different world. Funny what being back in your hometown does for stuff like that. I left as soon as I finished up a sixth, so things that I had a chance to grow into the park that's best for romantic strolls, or the restaurant where I got my first job, or the club that everyone always went to. Instead, I just look around and see the corner where I shared my first sig. I wasn't really my first six, I had no clue how to actually smoke or the charity shop that would sell the best stuff for the least money or the cinema that would turn a blind eye when we wanted to see a film we were too young for. I wouldn't change it now. I'm glad I left. But I was really sad for a long time when I did. I just became a sad person. Everything felt wrong or empty or fake and I felt like, you know that bit in Gravity where Sandra Bullock isn't connected to the spaceship anymore and you can see Earth but apart from Earth it's just this endlessly huge, impossible, terrifying nothingness. <laughs> it was like that. And it was really, really hard. And then slowly, slowly, I started to find little things that I liked. A little interesting bits and pieces as I floated along. Space is slippery. One day, I remember it so clearly, I sat down and actually watched The Prisoner of Azkaban. And it was like drifting back to a spaceship. It started to get better after that. And a couple of weeks later, I went into town and made myself buy five things that were actually calf, not disguises. I think they've been really good since, to be honest. I'm just back for a flying visit. See the rents in early when she's home and back to London.
I'm lost in all of this when I find myself at the number eight bus stop. It was a rickety, smelly old thing that was always a single decker when it really could have done with being a double, especially on the school run. <laughs> Probably got USB ports now and Wi-Fi. I noticed this man at the bus stop and something about him is so comforting. I can't tell whether I know him or not or whether he's just got one of those lovely, rare, kind faces. Then I realise it's both. It's Adam from my former high school. The one who reckoned I was a backwards chameleon and told me so with this cheeky, sparkly grin. I catch myself just before his name falls out of my mouth, telling myself I'm not who I was anymore. He's not who he was and maybe we hate each other now. Maybe you'd be disappointed with me, Kath. Undisguised Kath. Prisoner of Azkaban Kath. But his face makes me feel like I'm landing back on planet Earth, both feet on solid ground, taking off my astronaut helmet. So I touch his arm anyway. 